ESPN Panther fans, Dave Cohen with you here on Panther Vision. Our coverage of Georgia State football from the pigskin preview down here in Macon, Georgia. It's the official, unofficial start to the college football season. We're going to talk exclusively with Georgia State's head football coach Trent Miles and the middle linebacker Sean Jeppesen as the Georgia State Panthers head into their second season in the Sun Belt Conference. Dave Cohen here at Pigskin Preview, joined right now by Georgia State's middle linebacker, Sean Jeppesen. And, uh, Sean, the excitement of a new season. You guys have one year in the Sun Belt Conference under your belt. A little bit of a rough year, but those that watch know this team got better. What is the thought process now uh, as you guys have had all offseason to get ready for a new year? Just a whole new season, a uh, great time to get better, and everyone come together as a team and just work hard and get ready for the next season. A lot of work in the offseason. As I said, there was no doubt that this team got better as the year went on, which had to give everybody a lot of confidence and a good feeling going into the offseason workouts, getting ready for this year. It definitely was. Um, everyone's just really excited, and um, this is, everyone's coming together more as a team. And uh, everyone's definitely getting a lot better and wanting to get better. And uh, it's been a great, great year so far. You know, at this time last year when I introduced you or we talked about you on the radio, it was fullback Sean Jeppesen. Three games remaining in the regular season last year, you get moved to middle linebacker, uh, the linebacking core. How was that transition for you, and uh, you're looking forward to it this year? <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, it's a, it's a definitely a transition moving from offense to defense, but uh, fullback is just a the linebacker on offense. But uh, it's definitely a lot of learning I need to do, and um, definitely Joe P and Coach Volker have, cling to my side and help me all through the other way. A leadership role for you as well, named uh, the uh, team captain on the defensive side of the football. A nice honor for you, and I know one that uh, kind of puts you in a position of leadership for this football team, at least on the defensive side with that unit. Yes, sir. Um, it's definitely been a learning experience. Uh, like I said, Joseph Peterson has helped me tremendously on and off the field, and it's helped me develop into a leader, so it's great. <laughs> The move from FCS to FBS last year, how much of a difference did you notice uh, as far as the transition went from the one year in the Colonial to uh, your first year in the Sun Belt Conference? It's definitely a giant transfer. I mean, different division for a reason. Everyone's bigger, everyone's faster. It's a whole new playing field. It's uh, definitely a new thing for us. Sean, thank you. Good luck this year. Thank you. I'm with head coach Trent Miles here at the Pigskin Preview. We're down in Macon, Georgia. And uh, coach, certainly, uh, you know, the season a year ago, a, a learning experience for this football team. Uh, we lost a lot of guys. You brought in a lot of guys. How do you feel about heading into your second season and second season in the Sun Belt Conference? Well, we're improved. Uh, I think uh, our kids have a great attitude. They've trained uh, extremely hard. Uh, they want to do it. You know, we're going to have 25 new bodies in there. And uh, we were young last year, played 15 true freshmen, and we'll play a lot of freshmen again this year, and, and we'll continue to improve and, and get better. And now the whole idea is to win football games. thing about playing freshmen, you get them on the field, it's kind of like a boomerang. It may hurt a little bit at the very beginning, but those guys are getting some valuable experience that the next couple of years is really going to pay off. Right. By the, by the end of the year, uh, McKinney Cheridor wasn't, wasn't a freshman anymore. Neither was Shawane Lawrence or Robert Davis, and, and uh, it's only going to help them this year. So now the experience is knocked out. They know what it's like to play. You know, not every experience is going to be a new one for them. They all have been there, seen there, done it. You know, so uh, that, that will really help. We still have to develop physically uh, off the field because now you're still talking about 17, 18-year-old kids that they're going to turn into 18, 19-year-olds. Uh, so, you know, we, we've got a lot of room to, to grow. But they know the expectation, and they, they've got a little taste of it. And you mix in guys like Sean Jepson and, and a couple of the other guys, Joe Peterson, and have played in it for a few years now. And I, I think you've got a chance to be much improved. And I don't know what that means, wins and losses. You know, I'm not, I, I, we need to win football games, but I'm still judging the program on uh, where, we at, where we are uh, from a, a total standpoint. And there's still things we're working on and, and we're getting better at. 
one thing you talked about almost from the start was wanting to get bigger, stronger, even faster on both sides of the line. You feel like you've done that uh, with what you've been able to bring in? It's going to look a lot different on both sides of the line. Yes, we have gotten bigger and stronger, and we've gotten faster. Uh, I, I was pretty happy with the, uh, the five JC kids we brought in uh, at the mid-year. I thought they uh, performed well. Uh, they understand now what we, we're, we're demanding as coaches and off the field as well as on the field, and that's as big an issue as anything, uh, and in the classroom. So they've got a taste of it. Now we're looking for the uh, 20 freshmen coming in to be able to, to contribute. I don't know if it's quite 20. I think we still got a couple more JC kids that get, couldn't get in in the mid-year. But, you know, it would be a very important summer uh, for everyone uh, involved. And with the new rule now, uh, we're allowed to work with our players for the first time uh, ever uh, for eight hours a week for eight straight weeks and uh, we will be involved with them with, as long as we don't use a football and and get out review film and and meet with them and take them out on the field and and get them a head start on camp so you know we're really looking forward to doing that. And that'll wrap it up from here at the Sports Hall of Fame in Macon. We want to thank head coach Trent Miles and Sean Jeppesen. Don't forget, Panther Vision is your exclusive home for full coverage of Georgia State University football as well as Georgia State University athletics. Also, keep up with Panther Athletics online exclusively at georgiastatesports.com. Dave Cohen for Panther Vision here in Macon, Georgia. Hey, 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 hey.